So this is some work on forming differential equations. We're going to be looking at solving them later, but just for the moment we're looking at forming an equation, writing down an equation given some words. So here we've got some words, and we need to write down an equation for the rate of growth of the population. So we're looking at by how much the population is growing over time. So if there was a graph, we'd want to know by how much is the population growing? Not quite sure what this is of time. But what we're looking at is the way in which the population is growing. So the rate of growth is the gradient of the graph. And that's what we need to bear in mind, that we're trying to find the gradient of the graph. So what does this tell us? It says the population is growing at a rate which is proportional to the size of the population at a given time. So if the population equals p, then we've got the word is here. And the word is gets translated into the symbol equals. So the way in which it's growing, the population is growing at a rate, well we want to know what the gradient is. In other words, what is dp by dt? So dp by dt measures the gradient of the graph, it's the rate of growth. Now it's proportional. Now you may remember that uh, from GCSE, if y is proportional to x, then y is some constant of proportionality multiplied by x. So this is saying it's proportional to the size of the population at a given time. So there's a constant of proportionality multiplied by p. So the rate is dp by dt is proportional, equals k, to the population, p. So this is the differential equation. Let's look at another example on the next slide. So what we're saying here is Newton's law of calling states at the rate of loss of temperature of a body. So, so let's decide to have the temperature equal to theta. Not a good idea to have T for temperature because we've got time as well. That would get too confusing. So the rate of loss of temperature, that's d theta by dt. It's the way in which the temperature is changing. The word loss is important. It means we're going to have a negative value. But the next key word is is. Is stands for equals, or is represented by equals. It's proportional, so there's a constant of proportionality. It's a loss of temperature, so there's a minus sign. And then it says the excess temperature of the body over its surroundings. So it's whatever the temperature is minus the surrounding temperature. We can call that what we like, call that S, call that P. I'm going to call it theta with a little zero on it. <clears throat> so theta zero is the uh, temperature of the surrounds. Don't have to call it theta zero, call it what I like. That's uh, that's what I'm choosing to do. So this is the differential equation. d theta by dt is the uh, rate of increase of the temperature. The fact that it's minus means that it's a loss. It's proportional, so there's the constant of proportionality, and it's the excess temperature. So that's the difference between the temperature and the surrounding temperature. And this is the differential equation for this one. Let's do one more. So here we've got the head of a snowman of radius r. It loses its volume by evaporation at a rate proportional to the surface area. So the volume is decreasing. So uh, dv by dt, it's losing it and it's proportional, so it's minus k. And it's proportional to its surface area. Proportional to the surface area. So that's the differential equation. But the question says write down a differential equation for the rate of change of radius. So what we really need to know is what is dr by dt. So dr by dt. We can write like this. And then we should use the fact that we've got dv by dt here. So let's put dv in here. 
So dr by dt is dr by dv times dv by dt. That's okay, we know what dv by dt is, it's minus ka. What about dr by dv? Well, we are told that the head is spherical. So we do know that the volume uh, equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. We're told that here. So if we're told that v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, we can now work out what dv by dr is by differentiating. Uh, the power reduces by 1, 3 times 4 thirds is 4, so it's 4 pi r squared. So what have, we, what have we asked? We're asked for dr by dt. That's dr by dv. So that's 1 over 4 pi r squared. Because dv by dr is that. dr by dv, this is the reciprocal, so it's 1 over that. Uh, and then it's multiplied by dv by dt, which is minus ka. What's the area, we're told that the area is 4 pi r squared. That's uh, up here. So it's minus k times 4 pi r squared over 4 pi r squared, which simplifies to be minus k. So the whole equation simplifies to dr by dt is minus k, and that is the differential equation. So we've formed the differential equation, we haven't got around to solving it yet, that's later on in the course.